In 2019, Trevor Bauer had perhaps the worst year of his professional career. A year later, in 2020, Trevor Bauer was the best pitcher in the National League. He led the league in ERA, WHIP, won the Cy Young, and trolled the Houston Astros for cheating every step of the way. But is Bauer's sudden leap of performance a result of his own secret cheating technique? The answer is no, because Bauer's cheating is not a secret. He's never admitted to it, but he's never denied it either. And based on the accusations Bauer made against his former college teammate and arch rival Garrett Cole, it is clear that according to Bauer, there is only one explanation for his dramatic rise in performance. And it is a substance that one player development executive described as being better than steroids. But if Trevor Bauer is cheating and everyone knows about it, how come the MLB and his opponents don't punish him for it? Well, it's probably because they're not so innocent themselves. There is no debate, 2020 was the best year of Trevor Bauer's career. He set career highs in ERA, walk rate, whip, and probably led the league in trash talking as well. And so he yelled, no, f And so as I was walking off the field, I decided to yell, yes, f And then, so I ended up striking out Ian three times tonight, so I won that battle. And yeah, all those stats are impressive, but by far the most impressive improvement made by Bauer in 2020 is shown by this graph right here. This represents Bauer's spin rate. Spin rate is measured by RPM, which stands for revolutions per minute. The higher the RPM, the more the ball spins. The more the ball spins, the harder it is to hit. In 2019, Trevor Bauer averaged around 2400 RPM, which is about league average. A year later, in 2020, he increased his spin rate by 400 RPM. He went from an average spin rate to literally having the highest spin rate in the league. So is it possible that Bauer increased his spin rate through training or technique? Well, according to Bauer himself, the answer is no. Before 2020, Trevor Bauer basically went on a full-out media tour calling out teams and players for dramatically increasing their spin rate, which he says can only be done through cheating. He went on HBO Sports, wrote an article for the Players Tribune, and publicly called out Garrett Cole and the Houston Astros for doctoring baseballs. Yes, before the Astros were publicly added for banging trash cans, Trevor Bauer publicly accused them for a different type of cheating. And more specifically, he accused their ace pitcher, Garrett Cole. The beef between Bauer and Cole goes all the way back to their days at UCLA. The two ace pitchers absolutely hated each other. Bauer says that while they were teammates, Cole told him he had no work ethic and would never make it in baseball. Cole has repeatedly refused to ever even mention Bauer's name publicly, and Bauer himself says that today he has absolutely no problem with Cole, but their coach at UCLA says that there is a better chance of the earth burning up than the two of them ever speaking to each other again. In 2018, Garrett Cole recorded a dramatic spike in spin rate after being traded to the Astros. Cole was coming off the worst season of his career, but with higher spin came better success. He cut his ERA in half, went to the All-Star game, and finished 5th in the league in Cy Young voting. Due to their history, it wasn't a surprise when Bauer made it publicly known that this rise in performance was impossible without cheating. He accused the Astros of using foreign substance to get a better grip on a ball which is prohibited by the MLB and claimed that through years of research he found no possible way to increase spin rate without using a substance banned by the league. He even said that using pine tar as a pitcher is more of a competitive advantage than steroids. And shortly after this tweet storm, Bauer's own pitching coach hinted that Bauer may be cheating as well tweeting, maybe look at Trevor's recent data and see if there's anything weird going on. He is referring to a game played on April 30th, 2018, where for one inning, Bauer increased his RPM by over 300, averaging around 2600 RPM. The inning after, his RPM mysteriously went back to normal. When later asked about this spike, Bauer told reporters to go read an article written by Eno Saris, which basically calls out Bauer for using a foreign substance to get these strange results. Bauer said, quote unquote, it's a good article. So just to prove that he could easily increase his RPM similar to Garrett Cole, Bauer basically just cheated for one inning, stopped cheating the next inning, and did everything he could to tell the world he did it without actually admitting to it. For the next year and a half, Bauer would continue bringing awareness towards the use of foreign substance as something the MLB should regulate. In 2018, Bauer tweeted that pine tar was more of a competitive advantage than steroids and knew for a fact that he could add 400 RPM to his fastball by using it, but wouldn't because he had morals. But in 2019, while Garrett Cole was in Houston putting up Cy Young numbers that would eventually earn him a $324 million contract, Bauer was in Cleveland having the worst statistical year of his career. 
but in the last month of the season after Bauer raged through a baseball 400 feet over the center field fence and was traded to the Cincinnati Reds, the increased spin rate that Bauer showcased for one inning in 2018 magically reappeared. Well, it turns out the magic spells Bauer was using to get this spike in spin rate was banned by the MLB. But Bauer was not shy about hinting towards his secret weapon. That offseason when a reporter said that Garrett Cole told his team to stop acting like a bunch of Bowers and move on from the Astros cheating scandal, Bauer responded by saying, quote unquote, I told my spin rate to stop acting like a bunch of Coles, but they still went up 400 RPM. We'll try to get them back under control, but sometimes they make their own business decisions. And this is basically the moment where Trevor Bauer turned to the dark side. Whether it was because he wanted to outdo his arch nemesis Garrett Cole, have a good season so he could make more in free agency, prove to the MLB that foreign substance was an unfair advantage and should be stopped, or a combination of all three, with the help of an illegal sticky substance, Trevor Bauer put up the best numbers of his career. Here is a picture that Bauer tweeted in 2018 that shows what he expected his numbers would be if he quote unquote had no morals and used foreign substance. In 2020, he sacrificed these morals, outperformed all of these stats, and is likely weeks away from signing a deal worth hundreds of millions of dollars because he chose to do so. So yeah, maybe morals are a little overrated. But what is the specific substance that Bauer is using to get such great results? We don't know exactly what it is, but according to this tweet, it is not pine tar. But this does not make Bauer innocent, as pine tar is just one of many banned foreign substances that dramatically help increase spin rate. Whatever Bauer is using, there is reason to believe it's the best you could find. Bauer said he's tested pine tar sticks, liquid pine tar, made his own non-Newtonian fluids, melted down firm grip Coca-Cola and pine tar together, and even sat down with a chemical engineer to understand what the best possible formula is. Yes, Bauer is literally using scientists to cheat. So he's obviously putting a lot of time and effort to create the perfect formula. And despite Bauer going so long without using any foreign substance, now that he is using it, it's possible that whatever he's using is better than what most players have access to. Not only was Trevor Bauer's sudden spike in spin rate more dramatic than Garrett Cole's in 2018, Bauer's spike was the largest ever recorded. And whatever he's using, he's giving to his teammates because yep, you guessed it, the Cincinnati Reds led the league in this category as well. But Trevor Bauer is definitely not the only player using a sticky substance. It's actually a lot more likely that he was the only player not using it. Bauer predicted in 2018 that 70% of pitchers used it, but in a survey done by Eno Saris, it seems like most players think this percentage is a lot higher than that. Pitchers have tried almost everything. Some of the most popular methods include lubricants, Tyrus Clear Sticky Grip, shaving cream, putting way too much sunscreen on their arm and then using rosin, boiling Pepsi until it has to be scraped off the pan, and one pitcher even used resin from a weed pipe, swearing that it is by far the best way for pitchers to get a better grip. This pitcher said he would like to stay anonymous. The examples of the MLB doing anything to enforce their rule of no foreign substances are extremely rare, but they do happen. An Angels employee named Bubba was recently fired. His job was to clean the clubhouse, wash the jerseys, and buy players food. He was also known for creating the best foreign substance in the league. His formula was so popular that opposing pitchers would pay him for it. The Angels fired him before the 2020 season, and this is probably because the MLB wanted it to look like they were doing something about the problem. It also could have been because the Angels didn't like their employee helping other teams win, but this is just one of few examples where the MLB did anything to enforce their rule. For the most part, policing foreign substance is up to managers calling out players during the game, which only really happens when the two teams hate each other, or the manager gets upset about how obvious the opposing pitcher is using the substance, and there are many cases of this occurring throughout MLB. In 2012, Nationals manager Davey Johnson called out Joel Peralta for having pine tar in his glove. Johnson knew about the pine tar because Peralta pitched for the Nationals the year before, and I guess the Nationals didn't like him or something because as soon as he came into pitch, he was called out and thrown out of the game. Peralta obviously did not appreciate this. The next inning, the Rays retaliated by calling out the Nationals pitcher for using pine tar, and he is either one of the few pitchers who don't use it or he's just better at hiding it because he stayed in the game. After the game, Joe Madden called Davey Johnson a coward. Davey Johnson responded by saying, I don't know Joe Madden that well, but I always thought he was a weird wuss anyway. So it seems like calling out Peralta was Davey Johnson's way of settling an old beef with Joe Madden. Joe Peralta was suspended 10 games for this and later said he talked to his former teammates who were pissed at Davey Johnson because they use illegal amounts of pine tar too. So it seems like most players really don't like people getting called out for this even if they're on the other team. 
A great example of a pitcher not enjoying being ejected for foreign substance is Will Smith, who was ejected while playing the Braves. He really didn't think this was an appropriate decision. Smith later said he put on a mixture of sunscreen and rosin in the bullpen and forgot to remove it before coming into the game, which may be the most blatant lie in baseball history. Braves manager Freddy Gonzalez said he didn't have a huge problem with it, but called him out because it was just too blatantly obvious. And this is pretty ironic because almost every pitcher does this, and it's often pretty blatantly obvious. But in Michael Pineda's case, it was way too obvious. During a start against the Red Sox, Pineda smeared a ton of liquid pine tar on his hand. The Red Sox ignored it, but the league issued a warning because the whole world saw it. Two weeks later, in another start against the Red Sox, he came back with even more pine tar smeared all over his neck, making it even more obvious. The Red Sox did call him out for it this time. He was ejected and suspended eight games. And by far the funniest example of a pitcher getting called out for using a foreign substance was Joe Nico in 1987. He was using sandpaper to scrape the ball during a start, and when he was discovered and searched by an umpire, he discreetly threw the sandpaper out of his back pocket except it wasn't discreet at all. He was ejected and suspended for 10 games. So will Trevor Bauer be the next pitcher to get called out for using foreign substances? The answer is probably no, but even if he does, his team will probably just call out the next pitcher for doing the exact same thing, and Bauer will just find a better, more discreet way to hide it in the future. And even if the MLB finds Bauer for using a foreign substance and being semi-open about it, the amount of money he will lose will be nothing compared to the amount of money he will make this offseason as a direct result of his suspicious rise in spin rate. And whoever signs Bauer will not only get a Cy Young award winning pitcher, but also a pitcher with a possible foreign substance formula that can increase the pitching performance of the whole team. So the question really isn't why Trevor Bauer is cheating, the question is why Trevor Bauer didn't start cheating sooner. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and kids, if you want to get drafted, start using Pine Tar. It kind of inferred that you may have done it in a game, the first inning in a game, just to, uh, I mean, I don't know if that was a test by you, a dry run, or so to speak. I have no comment on that.